Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take another look at Solus. Now I had originally tried to install Solus in the past. I had some boot issues. I had some issues with uh, NVIDIA. When I was able to get it installed I, I uh, was only able to get the NVIDIA 340 driver. Um, I had a problem with, with my Realtek Wi-Fi. So uh, at the time I kind of gave up and uh, <clears throat> took it off the drive. Uh, but now recently since I have built this new computer and I've got some different components inside the computer I thought I'd give Solus 3 another try. Now what I have different in the in the uh, in the computer I have a GTX 760 GeForce NVIDIA card versus what I had before which was the 1050 Ti. 1050 Ti is a good card however it doesn't play well with my uh, Mac OS, my Hackintosh um, and it doesn't play well with some versions of Linux so in this computer I put back the 760 and for Wi-Fi I'm using an internal PCI card it's a combination Broadcom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth that is natively recognized within Mac OS so that means with a Hackintosh everything works including Bluetooth handoff um, everything functions properly so <coughs> excuse me that was a win-win so since I had some new computer uh, new components in the computer um, I thought I'd give Solus another try now for this version this install the first thing I did was install GNOME the GNOME version and pleasantly everything worked terrific I was able to in install NVIDIA through the do flicky uh, I was able to install Broadcom they're both installed um, they worked fine within GNOME no issues whatsoever now within the GNOME uh, install I had no screen tearing out of the box I didn't have to do anything to uh, eliminate screen tearing with this Mate version I did have to install or I, I did have to uh, create a startup command uh, and if you go to your let's see con control center and go to startup applications you can see that I put this little startup which basically just turns on the force full composition pipeline for NVIDIA and that's the difference between having screen tearing and not having screen tearing so everything uh, is fine as far as screen te tearing no problems at all uh, and I check that with um, you can check it with either Firefox or Google Chrome which I did install out of the software center on third party I'll show you that in a minute but uh, trust me when I say when I test it within YouTube on a 60 frame per second screen tearing test I have no screen tearing so it's absolutely perfect the only other issue I have is this shadow around my conky no matter what I you know I know all kinds of different fixes within uh, the conky configuration file I've tried everything that I know and I still can't get rid of it now normally <coughs> excuse me within XFCE it's just a matter of installing Compton and uh, my Compton configuration file takes care of conky shadows but within this mate install it's not so easy and it's compounded by the fact that um, it's using compiz so I'm sure there's a uh, there's a uh, setting somewhere within compiz that will get rid of uh, shadows around the conky I just haven't found it yet so and I haven't really done a lot of digging uh, but I'm sure I'll come across that now if you guys know the setting in compiz that I can use to eliminate a shadow around the conky by all means drop me a comment let me know okay so Nvidia working great let me sh now the the nice thing about Nvidia is last time it wanted to give me 340 on this install it gave me 384.59 and that happened 
as a result of updating the system. Once I updated the system, first thing I did after the install on this Mate was update the system. Once I did, it made itself um, capable of installing the 384.59. So I updated first, then I installed drivers that gave me 384.59. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm happy with that. Now my Broadcom Wi-Fi was uh, recognized in Duflicky. I just installed it and everything is fine. No issues whatsoever. So in that sense everything uh, those two reservations that I had with the install the first time have been resolved. Now I'm I'm running this in a uh, dock let me show you the dock that I purchased. I have four internal hard drives and I uh, wanted to get some type of a dock where I could s slip uh, SSDs in and out to boot up additional Linux, uh, uh, Linux distros. So here's what I got. This Inatech, I've, I'm familiar with that brand. I've used them before. Uh, and so I thought I'd try this Inatech uh, dual bay USB three docking station so I've got two SSDs in there one has Manjaro the other has this Solus install and both absolutely fantastic no problems at all I just um, slip this this the this in and out and I can easily boot up from another Linux distribution so that worked out extremely well now for the Mate install, I don't like the brisk menu, so I went back to the normal Mate menu, which is what I prefer. So I'll leave that there. I just elim I just deleted from the panel and added that one in. No problems at all. Now, as I said, I uh, went into the software center, and let's see if I can bring that up. I went into the software center. That's where you do your updates. It shows you all your installed applications. And then for third party you can see I installed Google Chrome. Just a matter of clicking on install and it goes through the installation process. You can search for packages very easily and you can you can modify your settings for how often you you want to check for updates. This is a terrific software center. Uh, hats off to Solus. I really haven't found anything um, that I have not been able to locate. Uh, most of the software that I need is easily accessible from within this software center. And that that's important because Solus uses a different package management system and so by creating this very comprehensive software center it makes it easier to transition over to that package management now the commands are different for package management but a lot of the standard Linux commands are the same and so um, it's an easy transition the Solus folks have made it even easier by creating this terrific software center. Now as I said screen tearing has been eliminated. My only issue to resolve is this uh, shadow around the conky. Now I'm going to do a separate video <coughs> on getting uh, battle networking Steam is not an issue. You can just install it. It configures the same way you would do Steam in any other distribution. But I did find a difference within Battle.net. If you want to configure Battle.net within Wine and you're not going to use Play on Linux, which I don't like using Play on Linux because to me it complicates it. I'd rather do it in Wine. Uh, I can use the download file from uh, Battle.net. It just makes it easier and simpler for me. 
So I'm going to do a separate video on uh, installing Battle.net within this Solus Mate install that I think you'll enjoy and hopefully that provides some assistance to Solus users if they've been struggling with it. I'll do a step by step. So uh, guys that is it for this video. Uh, I'm going to give this Solus uh, 3 uh, distribution two big thumbs up really really nice I couldn't I would not have any issues at all using this as my daily driver now what I'm going to do just for the heck of it is I'm going to see if I can install the XFCE desktop on top of this Mate install and if that's possible then I am going to go ahead and run XFCE because I find it much easier to configure. I can get everything working smoothly, screen, no screen tearing, no shadows around the conky. I can get everything running very, very nicely. So I'm going to see if I can install uh, XFCE. And if I can, then I will go ahead and do another video. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.